everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're like me, you always like to find deals. And with those deals, typically batteries are at the top of your list, especially for cordless tools, because they're so dang expensive. A battery like this, this is a 9 amp hour Ryobi battery, can cost you upwards of $200. You can get them on sale for a little bit cheaper, but man, that's a lot of money just for a singular battery. So you go online and you look for cheap batteries, the knockoff batteries, and you hope that it performs the same. Well, today we're going to test that out. I have a knockoff Ryobi battery that I bought on eBay, and it doesn't have, uh, <laughs> it doesn't really even have a name brand on it. It says on the bottom the model number is P108, which we know the P108 in Ryobi is the 4 amp hour battery, not a 9 amp hour battery. So today we're going to put these head to head with a genuine 9 amp hour battery compared to a knockoff 9 amp hour battery. In our test today we're going to be running 450 watt 4 foot LED fixtures. And what that's going to allow us to do is to drain the battery slowly and at a constant rate. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're actually going to hook it up to the power inverter. And this is just the, hold on, it's the RY. I-150BG. We're going to stick it on top. I have all of these lights plugged into an extension cord and we're going to run them until the uh, battery dies. And how I actually have this set up is the lights are currently running on a solar system that I put into my barn and that's where I'm at right now. So it's going to be super easy. We'll just plug in the uh, plug everything in here. I'm going to let it run and I'm going to have a clock sitting beside the camera as it runs and we're just going to let it run as, as long as it possibly can. And the lights are going to get dim, but I'm going to wait for them to go completely out. And once they go completely out, that's when we'll stop the timer and then we'll follow back up. This is the 9 amp hour knockoff or off brand Ryobi battery. Go. So folks, there you have it. Uh, they weren't even close. The authentic 9 amp hour battery from Ryobi, it did 3 hours and 10 minutes. The knockoff version, uh, which is an eBay or Amazon version, that only did 1 hour and 31 minutes. So the marketing is at 9 amp hours, but in actuality, it's not even close. And just as a point of reference for this, I recently did the same test with a 4 amp hour and a 6 amp hour uh, <clears throat> genuine Ryubi battery. And they came in, the 4 amp hour did 50 minutes and the uh, 6 amp hour did 1 hour and 58 minutes. So it didn't even beat the 6 amp hour battery. So that should be a big tell to everyone that yeah, even though they market as the 9 amp hours, it's most certainly not performing as the 9 amp hours, and they probably have about the same use on them. But something that I've heard about these type of off-brand or knockoff batteries is that they use uh, reused or old recycled cells within them. And I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, I think the performance between the two is a huge telltale for what you should expect if you want to buy one of these or if you want to buy one of these. 
If this is worth the 150 bucks to you, or you can get them on sale for two for $200, you know, that's a that's a really good way to go. Or you can go online, you can buy this one for 89 bucks or 79 bucks, whatever you uh, can find it for on the right side. So, anyways, I hope this is helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks, everybody.